Good evening ladies and gentlemen. Today is the 3rd of March and uh, once again another very tricky day in uh, the market. The market was heavily upside biased uh, from the beginning and uh, continued to rally and uh, what seemed like a ceiling of 5200 did not hold and we saw massive call expansion at uh, 5200. Uh, that being said, we managed our strangle today uh, to the best extent that we could. And uh, finally, at the end of the day, on a day when Nifty moves over 2% and Bank Nifty over 2.5%, we were down about 5 points, uh, which is not such a bad outcome. And uh, tomorrow being expiry is going to be uh, quite tricky to see how the market adjusts post this move. Reliance as well, today a massive up move, um, all the way up to uh, 2200. So uh, that's really what propelled the Nifty. So. I hope you have a great time watching this video and have some good takeaways. Have a great evening. Good morning ladies and gentlemen. So we've just entered our position for the day. Uh, so what's happening is yesterday US markets dipped a little bit, barely. Uh, and Nasdaq was relatively the biggest dipper. But um, the futures currently are trading in such a manner that it's completely balanced. So it was a very sideways market yesterday. Uh, that being said, some of the Asian markets sell off earlier could have been overdone, which is why all Asian markets are doing quite well and in the deep green. So what is our trade plan for today? We are working with a 14900, 15200, which is a kind of bullish uh, strangle, which means we have a positive delta. So right now, the hypothesis that we're working with is yesterday's close is definitely going to now act as a massive support zone. Right. If we start breaking down from here, then our entire trade will be cut because this is not part of our uh, hypothesis. Now, at the same time, these two levels should act as resistance. So our view is that we're going to have a sideways days without too much action because uh, that's the global cues. That's what we're getting. So after the gap up should not be too much upside, but there could be upside all the way till uh, 15200 in this expiry. So currently um, these options are going to expire tomorrow and we have sold a put which is 14900 and a call which is 15200. If we start breaking 15000 on the downside then this call will be moved down immediately by about 50 to 100 points maybe 100 points with half the quantity and 50 points with half the quantity. Until then we will uh, retain this position. So given that uh, these options have to expire tomorrow we should be able to capture a good uh, 25 points of DK in this position itself if it goes completely unchanged till the end of the day. So apart from that what is happening with the market um, everything so far looks like IVs are crashing and uh, there seems to be strength across the bad bank nifty as well has gapped up above a resistance zone or what one would consider a resistance here right after getting sold into and now has gapped up here so if we start holding here then we might see further short covering so that is where the market is currently we'll start seeing now what kind of OI is building up and where positions are being taken and unbound and also look at what are potential expiry spots for tomorrow so we'll keep you posted okay so the reason we had sold a bullish triangle is we expected there to be a quick buying after the gap up uh, pushing us over 15100 that didn't happen so we have exit these calls which haven't decayed at all to be uh, fair and uh, move them down to the 15,150 uh, call. Now since there's a dip going on and currently it seems that we just continue to dip the puts are expanding. So puts are expanding but we have a very good position at this point of time especially considering that expiry is tomorrow. Um, so in the worst case scenario if there is a big slide back to tomorrow's day we will move away the puts as well as roll down the calls so both of those will be in action today where we will shift the puts down by an additional strike and roll the calls down by an additional strike if we have a big move but right now what is happening is these puts will as the day goes on really start losing value if we hold above 15,000 so that's the plan for now we'll keep you posted Okay, so taking a look at what's happening on the open interest side, massive buildup of OI at 15,000 in the weeklies and in the monthly as well and a lot of call unwinding in the monthly and if you see overall monthly lot of short straddle positions at 15,000 which is perfectly rational considering that uh, it's a round figure and uh, bank nifty as well 
we're seeing good amount of call writing at 36,000 and a lot of positions built up at 35,500. So currently this dip that we're seeing is I mean looks like it could you go all the way down till yesterday's close and then uh, pull back from there so we are not adjusting our position too quickly as of yet so currently we haven't yet moved down our calls we will wait for us to hold below 15,000 and then we will move down our calls and consider moving down our puts as well uh, so right now the idea is to continue to hold these will expand uh, once we have a gap up and get sold into but 15,000 should most likely get defined uh, defended and when that happens these puts should come down in price that being said if we hold another three candles below 15,000 then we're going to roll down the calls or if we start sliding towards uh, uh, 15,950 sorry 14,950 then also we will roll down the calls as well as move the puts okay uh, 10 o'clock update basically uh, 15,000 did act as a good support and uh, a lot of put writing so you can say this kind of dip does happen so premiums on the put side go up and now we're back to being sideways currently what is our plan with this triangle exactly the same thing uh, we'll continue to hold this for the longest time if we start breaking above 15100 then we will uh, move up our calls and if we start breaking below 15000 we will move down our puts and the second action of moving in closer and taking in additional credit will be if there is any uh, decisive move in the price action of either bank nifty or reliance or it index to uh, signal a more trending sort of a day so that being said uh, we'll keep you posted the time is 10 12. okay first rule is you should have multiple internets so when your first and second internet are not working you always keep a contingency in place and also keep another mobile with multiple data connections in case the internet stops working because this is india and we dig up everything everywhere and it's totally possible that you get screwed over due to internet not working the time is 10 15. okay um, we continue on the same sideways zone around 15,050, and uh, we have connected to a hot spot to get our internet back up and running for now Bank Nifty mix seems to be making some big moves towards 36,000. So it'll be interesting to see what happens there. In the morning, we saw a lot of call writing uh, on that level. So we'll just take a look at what the option chain is looking like. Let's check the change in open interest. Some amount of call writing at uh, 15,000, but far more put writing. yeah bank nifty a lot of calls written at 36,000 so this might act as a very good resistance for bank nifty we'll keep you posted the time is 10 25 11 12 update so we bought back our calls and we moved them away to 15 200 now what's happening is a lot of put writing is taking place at 15,000 15,050 15,100 and not a lot of call writing and some amount of call unwinding. Right now, there are a lot of short started positions at 15,000. The problem will be is if these guys start covering and have not already covered with futures and we see some kind of a big up move from here, then that could easily propel us 100, 150 points on the upside. So definitely uh, fear is on the upside. And uh, our strangle currently 14,900 is trading far more expensive than our 15 to 100 so we have a 300 point strangle which at the very least should TK 15 to 20 points even if we are in a plus minus uh, 50 point range from here so that being said we are now going to stick to this position and just hold on we lost in a little bit of slippage while rolling so that wasn't very good but uh, regardless today is Wednesday these options expire tomorrow there doesn't seem to be any particular um, big move in global markets at least just sideways more or less asian markets recovering after yesterday's uh, down move so i'm going to continue to hold this position for now we've also said uh, in case there's a big spiky wednesday type move we've set stop loss market orders on all of our positions so we're just going to continue to hold 
and wait for a move to make any further changes. We'll keep you posted. The time is 11.30. We're just looking at an open interest, what has been happening all day. So after the gap up, a uh, good amount of put riding at 15,000. After the dip that we saw, during the dip that we saw uh, intraday, there was actually increase in 15,000 put riding. And we're saying that during the dip after the gap up as well, generally 15,000 call being unwound to a certain extent. So right now for this expiry as things stand, between 15,000 to 15,200 seems like the range. So in that range, if you see all the Y at the bottom, so the 15,000, uh, 250, 150 call, um, 1550 call, 15100 put. So all of those are basically sideways positions. The boundaries at this point of time seem like 15,000 and 15,200. So if that's the case, uh, what is going to happen is we are now going to move our put up to 15,000. Uh, 14,950 just to balance the fact that the 15,000 or we might just leave it as is for now uh, because we might see further swings during the day but if we start seeing the 15,200 calls start expanding to about 28, 29 then we will be moving up and taking in additional put side credit so that's the plan uh, for now this is our view we'll see towards uh, the end of the day if we carry an overnight position for tomorrow's expiry or not. So it will depend on what the data is looking like and also what's happening in global markets. Based on that, we will consider taking an iron fly overnight. Okay, the time is 12 o'clock and we have now moved up just now uh, our puts to 14.950. The thing is, there is it's super evidently bullish. The OI currently is, I mean, we had in the morning in the money puts being written huge puts being written, calls being unbound, despite nifty dipping, more puts being written. It's very evidently bullish, which is why we don't want to also join in on that bandwagon immediately. This is fine. This is a 15200 call, which we are considering the upper end of the range. In case this is the side that's bleeding, we'll carry forward the position. We'll carry it by carrying it overnight. But we don't want to take on too much put side uh, risk right now and then have an intraday dip and really have these put expand this particular position is all right clearly right now the fear is on the upside it's very evident in the pricing so let it be um, by I mean okay let us say this call does expand and, and we start making uh, move towards 15200 we will then take in more additional put side credit currently this is still 150 points away on the put side and 100 points away on the call side that's fine you want to keep a better gap from the put side because of the kind of trading days we've been seeing. That being said, this is uh, this is at this point in time what is happening in the market. So Reliance for now, once again, uh, unable to get back to 2000, uh, 2150. So there is definitely supply coming in there. IT is testing this resistance which it has tested previously. We'll have to see what happens with IT. Bank Nifty, the way it's looking from the option side, 36,000 plus minus seems to be currently what Bank Nifty is poised towards. So it's just pull up. So see, massive put writing at 36,000 and overall more calls, obviously, because uh, we are now moving on the upside. So we might have more of these calls start getting covered, but 36,000 plus minus is what seems uh, very likely at Bank Nifty. These calls have been unbound and moved here. So. We don't want to go in with the consensus. I mean, if we wanted to go in with the consensus, one way of doing it is buy calls and uh, um, set a stop loss and a target, that sort of situation. But we're very comfortable in this position right now. Um, so the time is 11.57, we'll keep you posted. Okay, so we're holding above 15.105 and so what are we doing now? We are going to wait. We are going to wait for 15 minutes, 3 candles above 15, one not, uh, 15 100 and we hold there for 15 minutes from now and then we will uh, move our puts up to 15,000. So right now these calls are expanding and there is nothing we can do about them. Uh, but we don't want to still take on the put side risk until we are holding this. So because those who have sold calls buying them back it's only natural that they expand uh, still 
at this part we will get a very good decay by the end of the day uh, with that being said if we hold above 15100 for 15 minutes convincingly then we will look to move up our puts see the thing is everything is also moving in conjunction when everything is moving up reliance it bank nifty everything is moving at once so it makes it kind of difficult to manage but uh, this is what we have to work with so we'll keep you posted okay so we're seeing a lot of 15100 put writing now and we continue to hold above uh, 15100 so what we've done is we've moved up basically 66 percent of our puts and uh, we're leaving the rest at uh, leaving 40 percent at uh, 14,950. So we are now technically close to being equidistant with 60% of our position. And uh, if we continue to move up higher from here, from 15,100, we continue to move up higher, these will move here. If we break down below uh, 15,100, then these will move back here. So that will be, that is the plan for now. Everything moving in consensus makes it a little difficult, which means market is just very directional. The entire market is moving in that direction. So let's see how much further upside Bank Nifty can have from 36,000. So looking at Bank Nifty open interest and you see that you're not seeing unwinding of 36,000 uh, call and you're not seeing any kind of great new put writing happen. Bank Nifty this open interest despite this up move in bank nifty remaining exactly like this will try and indicate that it's range bound so while nifty has a very bullish posturing at this point of time you see there are two things here one is the 15,000 put and the 15,100 put which continue to see action especially the 15,100 put in the last uh, hour or so so I mean that's what is signaling bullish momentum but you see in terms of unwinding is the 15,000 call that is being unwound um, the 15,100 call remains stable and the 15,200 call yeah the 15,200 call as well quite sideways so that being the case, I think for now our position as is is fine, right? We have still 60% of our puts at 15,000 and 40% uh, uh, at uh, 14,950. So overall, I mean, in terms of our average spread, we have good some 70 points or so, slightly less than 70. And we'll continue to hold this position uh, until we see some kind of a big move. Right now, plan is if we see a big move, that means we start seeing 15, 130, 135. The rest of these puts will come here. And uh, if we start seeing a down move, these puts will go back down. We'll keep our calls here. If we start heading to it, like in, in a hypothetical situation where we are closing today near 15,200, then we will be taking home a 15,200 iron flag. So if this strike is starting to go in the money, then by that time, the position will be such that we have a 15,200 iron fly ready to take overnight. The time is 12.30. So we saw this slight dip towards which we went below. We went till about 15.85. And in that period, the 15,100 put actually saw more writing. But at the same time, one thing that is now we're starting to say is still now 15,000 call this pink line. So absolutely nothing there. It was more or less sideways. Now you're seeing 15,200 OI increase. So now the range might be slightly shifting or rather the same range holding, but more strength from the downside, which means the lower range might move up to 15,100 and position towards uh, 15,100 to 15,200 expiry. But uh, that 15,100 has a long way to go before you can significantly say that uh, it is extremely strong because there's also a lot of 15100 call writing um, so that being the case uh, for now we're going to continue to just hold the same position that we're holding um, because i mean more or less our range is really good our range is uh, 14 uh, 950 and 14 uh, 15000 to 15200 
of course because of the movement that is happening this that what not we are at a negative m to m right now but if you really think about it it's it's less than about 7 points that much will decay in today itself if we hold the range so for now we will continue to hold in fact not just that about two and a half times to three times of that will decay today itself so still very good to hold uh, if that decay doesn't happen today we might as well take an overnight position so we continue to hold okay very strong base now built up around 15100 so we are going to move up all of our puts to 15100 sorry to okay so what we've done now is moved up all our puts to 15000 and we have a 15000 15200 strangle there i mean there's no point going against consensus when it's so strong and also now we kind of have to risk manage so that being said we're still happy to hold this position because now we're looking at in the near buy options the range that looks most likely to hold so right now the range that looks most likely to hold is this 15000 15200 and that is exactly our strangle from here we will only be moving further away we will not be moving closer so if this is the boundaries that we've kept and the calls start expanding we'll move the calls away and if the puts start expanding we'll move the puts away but no more moving in closer except for when we are entering a position that we carry home overnight which might be an iron flag okay so the time is 1 o'clock what we have done is we have moved up all the puts to uh, we have moved up all the puts to 1550 and the reason we have done that instead of moving away the call as was the plan earlier is we are not really getting much for the call the spread this spread between them is almost 20 points and uh, yeah that's i don't know that will that will imbalance the skew completely so the idea would have been to move the away on that and move away on this anyway and since it's looking very likely that we'll end up carrying home uh, an iron fly we might as well start moving in now and convert it later so that being said we have now moved the put to 1550 also what we are seeing on the open interest is there are people writing short straddles at 15200 right but majority of if you see where is the most balance between puts and calls it's at 1500 so when they wrote this they would have probably taken about 130 140 points of credit so and means till 15200 is fine there as well so 15200 what was what had immense open interest from the call side is now also seeing slight unwinding on the call side so 15200 now potentially expiry spot and between 15100 to 15200 is where expiry seems to be most likely at given current prices okay so this is where things get interesting the strangle is now trading at uh, 85 give take and what's happening is this from here till here right which has been close to 30 points we have seen that this call has actually not moved at all as this put has crashed 7 uh, points which has worked out well for us but uh, it just shows you that despite the up move the potential reward seen on the 15200 call hasn't really gone up much and neither has the risk which is why people are still willing to sell it at this price and people are paying only that much so that being said uh, this position right now is about 85 points and we can expect it to decay at least 15 to 20 points even with a plus minus 50 point range from here so that remains the trade plan 
and towards the end we'll see what the OI is looking like and what is the most favorable iron fly to take uh, of course iron fly will be only if we're not doing so good so yeah I mean for now I think this range of 15100 15150 is being held and interestingly the change of pricing of the 15200 call is showing that even though there is an up move people are not expecting too much further up move so that's what it's communicating the time is 130 okay once again this big candle that big candle days high call has gone up by 2 rupees of course put has continued to crash the call really not because now that uh, people are trying to actually think about how much risk reward there is there's not that much reward potential and risk on the put side is why it's crashing whereas the call side re reward is really not going up and the risk is also not going up or at least that's what market is poised towards right now which is why this call is not expanding I mean it has to expand at some point if the up move continues but right now we're at uh, 15150 and we are now considering rolling about 40 percent of our puts to the 15100 put so we will wait for about two candles or another 15 points of move whichever comes first to move up the puts the time is 140 okay turns out every day is a trending day these days so these calls are really bleeding now uh, we are holding above 15150, 15165 consistently. So we have now not only moved up all our puts to 15100, but also moved one third of them to 15150. There seems to be some sort of a magnetic pull towards, excuse me, 15200. And Bank Nifty now heading to 36,500 this zone from where it gapped down so this will be a hundred percent recovery after that five percent fall in one day three days to recover five percent fall that's bank nifty for you well now that being the case uh, right now our position is once again neutral uh, with just some of our puts at 15150 We'll move up the rest of them if we start breaking up higher, which would be around 15.75 and higher. Okay, wetness day mayhem. We have now closed all the 15.150 puts and moved them to 15.100 because of this candle. It's this candle and mainly from the fact that it came from Bank Nifty, which should have resistance around here, which is what is playing up. So that being the case, really deflated the calls, definitely these calls lost 30% of their value in 5 minutes and uh, yeah, didn't inflate the puts as much which is good and uh, we just used that to get out of the higher uh, credit put and roll it down to a lower credit put. Hmm. Always an interesting Wednesday. So now we are back to the 15100, 15200 uh, strangle and let's see if this follow through on this red candle until where it goes. Okay, the time is 2.20 and uh, yeah, there's all kinds of up and down happening between uh, 15100 and 15200. Currently we are of the opinion that uh, 15100, 150 and 15200 are very likely expiry spots. And that this is completely contingent on what happens with Bank Nifty. All day Reliance has been quiet and now we're seeing this move on Reliance. The volumes have to pick up. So the volumes picking up is what will give a little bit of uh, life to this potential breakout otherwise it will fail. So that being the case, uh, there is still about one hour to go and um, this should decay by another 10-15 points even now. So, 95 is currently where it is trading and it should decay by a little bit more. We will consider towards the end of the day, uh, the 15150 iron fly is what it looks like.
seems to be a lot of data backing that particular strike so we will we will most likely take the 15 150 uh, and fly home we'll keep you posted another hour left to go on our dk should cover this and considering it's a trending day we managed to do all right it could have been quite bad if our calls were closer and we didn't manage it in time so anyway too early to speak we'll keep you posted i don't know it's always reliance playing spoil sport and uh, yeah it's not very good for my positional trade either uh, but we'll have to see what to do with the puts do we move them at the money or not we'll probably wait we have enough time and our break even is quite far away but massive i mean the volumes even aren't that high massive so i mean luckily no traction from bank nifty so it's just reliance doing that and being compensated slightly by down moves by everything else yeah absolutely rocketing our position now is this we moved up the puts to 15150 and uh, yeah we are holding on to them as we are whoever bought these calls at 60 got stop loss at 40 and then now is seeing them go back to 60 must be cursing themselves okay we'll have to see if bank nifty now joins in the party with reliance that will mean 15200 so have to be very very careful to manage that if we're going there Okay, uh, about 15 minutes left to go, and Reliance continues to rocket. 2165 now, and uh, looks like Bank Nifty also wants to head back to the day's high. So we're seeing some major, major up moves. Looks like we most likely will end up at a straddle point where we'll be straddling the 15200. But we'll wait and see. We'll wait for this to expand to around 65. That is the point at which we will enter the. 15200 uh, straddle friends absolutely moaning but we'll have to see if this bank nifty up move is uh, going to happen right there should be supply here so so we don't want to rush into it because puts obviously completely deflated today's entire fear is on the upside so we will wait for this to expand to about 65 and if it expands to 65 then then we roll up the puts as well okay we've moved up uh, one third of our puts to 15200 and uh, we'll wait for the spot to get somewhere near 15200 reliance what a breakout oh my god i think it might head to 2200 today itself if this uh, this holds absolutely not getting sold into just in free running free while in free okay i'm going to move up more of this Okay. Currently we're down like 5 points or something. So we are going to most likely carry this position. So that'll be the plan to carry this position. We'll move in the hedge and carry this iron fly. Very very interesting. IT as well the uh, day is high but bank nifty very sideways now. So what a move. never a free lunch right in the market this just shows you how the how bias the market is the spot is 12 points away from the call and the call is trading at an insanely higher price than the put side which is just uh, ridiculous there is huge fear on the upside the spot is this call is out of the money and this put is in the money this put is in the money by 10 points 
This call is out of the money by 10 points and the call is trading at a 15 rupees premium almost like uh, close to 25 percent so ridiculous wow and the up move continues this position is good to carry uh, we will buy hedges and uh, we'll carry i mean this is what fear can do to you these options are expiring tomorrow right now Despite this red candle that we're seeing, mind you, despite this red candle, these calls are trading at a 35% premium to the put, both of who, which are exactly at the money. So that is just what short covering in fear can do to you. What a day. We sold these at 23. They went up to 90. The in the money put, if you want to sell, the in the money 15 to 50 put it's trading at 73 the at the money this this is 50 points in the money and they're giving you 20 points of extrinsic value there is 84 points of extrinsic value in this call pretty insane we're uh, going to move in the hedges towards the closing most likely and uh, and carry this overnight That'll be the plan for now. That's the only thing that would make sense. Despite the downtick, that, that is what supply and demand does. When there is so much demand and no supply, it's just blown up, completely blown up. Anyhow, uh, Reliance now kind of getting sold into, so is at that 2175 mark. And uh, yeah, we're going to continue to hold this because the plan is to anyway carry it over. We won't carry it over if there's a down move and we're able to get out at a good price. We will then try to get out at a good price, otherwise we will carry. Okay, I don't generally do this, but uh, now we have no option but to do this. So what we've done is we've exited the call side completely because some random stuff seems to be happening today. And uh, we don't want to have a 150 point gap up tomorrow and get burnt by that. We exited the call side. We have set stop loss market on this to exit at uh, very close 43.44. So yeah, we get stopped out here. That's fine. If not, we're going to hold this for 10 minutes. Overall, I mean, if you see from the sizing that we started at the beginning of the day, it's a little more than five points that we've taken in terms of damage, which is fine considering the kind of day it has been. So yeah very 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 interesting we will see in the last five minutes if we want to carry a bull put spread for tomorrow but uh, that we'll see in the last few minutes okay we're just cutting everything at market now we got a few points additional there okay so finally all said and done okay we need to Set a stop loss for this also. Put stop loss market of 6.2. It's cut at market. Okay, so net for the day, we have made a loss of 90,000 and considering the day it was, that is good enough. I'm just going to quickly go over see what kind of spread is there if I create a credit spread for a bull put spread for tomorrow and uh, based on that, we'll take a call whether taking something overnight or not. Okay, what a day, intense. Uh, the markets are finally closed for the day. Today felt like it went on forever. Uh, but uh, yeah, it was just one of those days, 250 points from the lows. Uh, nobody expected that last moment up move, especially Reliance moving 100 points. Uh, all of that being said, uh, we finally closed for the day. We closed about five points down on our starting position, which is completely acceptable. A day like this uh, can't do too much about it. We did not carry anything overnight because with this level of randomness uh, and tomorrow being expiry, uh, the risk reward was just off. There was, there was no good enough credit spread to take. 
which is why we're going to have a clean slate tomorrow and uh, uh, being expiry and after all this action on Wednesday let's see what kind of day it is so I will catch you guys tomorrow thank you so much for watching have a great evening thank you for watching please post any questions you have in the comment section also do not forget to like and share the video and subscribe to the channel to find us on Twitter, Telegram and Facebook, use the username NiftyBN. Also, we post some of our trades to the community tab. So do not forget to check that from time to time.